So I'm here with my friend Marcella. Uh, we just happened to find her, and we're going to learn how to, uh, we're gonna buy one of these things actually, and we're gonna show you how this thing works. It's actually pretty cool. Um, I'm gonna put this, buy this, put this in my bag to travel with. Isn't this nice? Yeah, it's very nice. Thank you very much. Aren't you nice too? This is wonderful. So Marcella uh, was just a lucky find. Uh, that's the great thing about Barcelona. There's just so many cool things, and hopefully I won't burn the shirt. But anyway, you can see how well this works. I'm gonna get a commission, by the way. Behind us, behind us. Oh, behind that. Oh, sorry, sorry. Watch, watch this. Whoops. All right, stop. There. See, see how cool this is. This is absolutely fabulous. Anyway, so I really recommend you buy one. Uh, we'll be a distributor in Belgium soon, uh, and hope you enjoy it. And now, oh, I'm sorry. All I get all material. All material. Sorry, I must miss something. Watch this. What program? What is the program? Uh, it's about the Mobile World Congress. Anyway, so the next bit uh, of the video that you really wanted to see was, it's going to be about uh, the Internet of Things. But we're not going to go crazy because this is not quite the Internet of Things. But we're going to give a summary of some of the cool things we saw and some of the cool comments that were made. All right? Okay. So I hope you enjoy the video. The Internet of Things seems to have hit all the major buttons. It's got technical issues, social issues, economic significance, all kinds of things and it's transforming the way we work, the way we live, the way we play. And the projections, quite frankly, are pretty impressive, with some analysts anticipating that we're gonna have as many as 100 billion connected IoT devices, with a global economic impact of over $11 trillion by 2025. Originally, the Internet of Things meant the Internet plus things, but now it has been stretched to cover everything. Basically, your entire home, all kinds of wearables and health gadgets, urban transport systems, grocery logistics, electric power, military operations. It's to the point now if somebody asks me what exactly is not the Internet of Things, nothing. With IoT, the legal conferences and the articles all bring up the same issues. These device manufacturers and even the service providers fail to implement any kind of common security measures. The hackers are exploiting the devices to conduct data breaches, they're conducting espionage, and they're damaging critical infrastructures. And it seems uncontrollable. The data sharing threatens every level of privacy. Those issues are discussed endlessly at any number of legal conferences, but I think those issues really mask a much, much larger issue. Yes, the Internet of Things, very upbeat term, but I tend to have a sinister feeling about this whole thing, a sinister connotation, as it were, and I kind of call it the cybernetic consortium. Because what we're talking about here is a power grab, pure and simple. It's a power grab over things that up to this point in time simply were not seizable. So as I sit here surrounded by the European headquarters of the digital elite, I think to myself, what is it they want? What they want is pretty simple. They simply want wireless command and control over every sensor, every lever, every cogwheel, every possible potential traffic light, every potential lever in which they can collect all of this data. Are they gonna get it? No, they're not gonna get it. It's gonna be a battle of electronics, but almost to the point where the consumer is completely irrelevant and completely obsolete. Because none of this stuff really has anything to do with our old-fashioned ideas of personal computing. It's what the writers Bruce Serling and Tim Shorten, who talk about this stuff quite a bit, call mass social electronics. What they're talking about is you have these billion dollar corporations, these smart cities, and these consortia, what are they doing? They're seizing control of the everyday elements of our lives, our water, our electricity, our lodging, all of our systems that we use on a daily basis, our parking spaces, and simply controlling it. That's their mission, that's their drive. No one player is going to win this epic battle. What we're looking at here, I think, is a phase, much like the information superhighway was, which lasted, what, 15, 16 years? I suspect that by the 2040s, we will look at a post-industrial landscape that has so completely changed. People of that period, that time zone, will have completely forgotten what's happening today. No, I'm not saying there's going to be a totalitarian Internet of Things. I mean, there's going to be stumbling blocks like protocol, standards, API, spectrum allocations, and all this stuff has to mesh perfectly, just like this robot and uh, cup. As I said at the beginning of this video, the Internet of Things is complex, and I didn't mean to be short shrift on any of the concepts. I mean, we're talking about the economic, the social, the technical, even the spiritual. And we will delve into these various aspects further in this video series. 
But for now, for me, I need to take a break and I just need to find a device that's not connected to anything.